Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little different. Um, I'm still in my kitchen, I'm just not cooking. So I got this Overland Dog Gear uh, Week Away Luggage Bag today. I got it at Walmart, it was $39.95. And I was just really excited about it, so I had to hop on here and show you. Um, anybody that has dogs, this is r honestly a lifesaver. It's so compact. My husband <laughs> and I usually would just throw some dog food and the canned food in bags along with the do our dog's bowls. It just took up so much room. This is so super convenient. It's like a diaper bag for dogs. <laughs> so anyway... So this has um, two lined compartments and it's supposed to hold, well, yeah, it's supposed to hold 15 cups on each side. So 30 cups of food. Um, and it looks like it could possibly do that. And sorry, I am holding my phone with my hand. So I'm sorry that it's a little shaky. Uh, this is the best way that I could find to do it because I film on my phone or my computer and if I was filming on my computer you won't be able to see shit. So anyway each line compartment is supposed to hold 15 cups of food. It also comes with these um, lined carriers that can be used for food or treats and I'm not sure how much that holds. It looks like a little lunch bag and I'm not sure if this is a manufacturing error or what but this one, the logo is, if I hold it upright, would be upside down. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but whatever, we'll go with it. So my husband and I have three dogs. Our two puppies are coming with us this weekend. We're going away. We're going to visit my grandparents in Corpus Christi. And we are taking our two puppies, the Husky shepherd mix and the lab shepherd mix our older dog is 12 and she just does not travel well she's old she just doesn't do well um with the trip itself but also around different people in different environments and we see my family probably in corpus probably three or four times a year and so she's just not used to them so she's actually staying with my husband's parents who she knows very well so she's all safe and secure. So this is going to be for our two other dogs. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So we feed our dogs dry food as well as wet food. They're puppies. The German Shepherd Lab Mix has no problem at all eating and gaining weight. The Husky German Shepherd Mix just has this crazy high metabolism. And we're actually trying to put weight on her. She's not malnourished by any means. Uh, the vet just told us that we need to feed her more high protein foods. So this is the pedigree meaty centers, meaty middles, something like that. And so we do the dry food as well as the wet food. So this is what we give our Husky German Shepherd mix. And this was recommended by the vet. So we give her that. And then we give our German Shepherd lab mix this wet food. I usually prefer the chunks and not the ground food, but they didn't have any. So this is chicken, liver, and beef. And she does not eat the whole can. This is a ginormous can. But again, that's all they had. All right. So anyway, so it comes, it's got the lined portions with the divider the two containers, uh, line containers. And then, okay, so let's just fill this. Let's just see what we can do here. So my dogs eat twice a day and they get two scoops each meal of the dry food. So we're going to be gone for, I guess, two and a half days. So we're going to leave tomorrow, which is Friday, after work. So they will already have eaten at that point. We'll feed them before we go. And then, so they really only need food for Saturday and Sunday because we'll come back Monday. 
so that was two scoops three four so that's one day of food <laughs> five six seven eight oh, oh, oh. sorry i'm a dark felt like the count there for a second so that's eight scoops of food i mean that's i mean and look how much room is left like <laughs> this scoop is pretty long just look so for good measure i'm just gonna add a couple more scoops just in case you know oop i fell into another compartment oh well it's very hard to scoop one-handed so that's 10 i'll put 12 in then and this is honestly just for experimental purposes only. So, I mean, look how much freaking room is still left. It's just insane. This thing is badass. All right, so then I'm going to put the canned food over on this side here. So, I've got, I'm bringing two cans of the chopped ground dinner. So, put those in. And then I'm also bringing two cans of the high protein um because we do split the wet food I don't like them to have too much all at once I just feel like it's not good for them get in there okay so I could probably stack two more of these bigger cans here and then honestly these small cans I could probably put four more in here there is a crazy amount of room in here so then these just fit right over here. Um, I might put some treats or toys in those, something. Um, and then I think I can just put the scoop down in there like that. And then, sorry, this is my first time packing this. So I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's going to fit. Perfect. And then that just goes there. So again, anything in those two. Um, all right. So the other feature that this, well, I guess I'll just show you this quickly. The shoulder strap is padded and adjustable. Oh my goodness gracious. This is very hard to do one handed, I must say. So we've got the shoulder strap here and it looks pretty comfortable. So there's that. Okay, so then, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say too about these is that, oh, there's my old girl right there, <laughs> peeking her little head out. So I also wanted to say that these bags, I looked it up online. Now, black was the only color that was available at Walmart, but this bag also comes in pink and an animal print, like a cheetah type print. All right, so in the front here, this portion zips down. Sorry about all my dog fur there. We're cleaning their bed right now. So, it's kind of a mess, but anyway. Okay, so in the bottom portion, this just zips open just like that and then there are two um silicone dishes so you could use them for food water whatever um so each one holds five cups or 1.18 liters if you're if you've got water in it so they're pretty good they're collapsible got the lids there and then it also comes with this mat um to set the bowls on. Now for us, this is not as functional because, I mean, we bring their separate bowls. They've got big bowls. Um, but this is really helpful for being on the road when we stop to let them out, giving them water. And it also has these mesh pockets on the side. I don't know if you can see that. So on either side, it has these mesh pockets. And I always bring water bottles with us for the dogs when we stop. So again, I'm doing this one-handed, I'm sorry. So each side 
I bet you I could get two water bottles in there. And I can. Perfect. So each side can fit two water bottles. So whenever we stop to let them out, or just stop in general, we um, give them some water. So that two water bottles on each side. And it's a really, it's really, you know, holds it in really good. Okay. So then we've got that. And then you guys, there's this cute little, it's like luggage. I'm not even kidding. Overland dog gear. It's got this little luggage tag with their names. I don't know if I'll go that far, but it's still cute. So we've got that. Oh, and speaking of luggage, I also wanted to mention that this bag meets the measurement requirements for a carry-on. Um, for flying. So, uh, we personally don't fly with our dogs just because that's just our preference. And I feel like it's really stressful for them. So we don't do that, but it's just good to know if you do, if you travel with your dogs, um, on a plane that this does meet the measurement requirements. So the other thing that it, Oh, it also has, I forgot about that, a luggage sleeve that fits over the, um, it's right here on the back here that fits over the pull up handle on a suitcase. So you can actually carry this kind of sit it on top of your suitcase and pull it along with your luggage. So I thought that was pretty cool too. Okay. So the other feature that this has, this is insane. This is literally a doggy suitcase. <laughs> so the other feature this has, I guess not feature, but and it's got that cute print there. I just think this is adorable. But I definitely want to invest in a different color because eh, it's kind of boring. I kind of want the animal print one. So I'll definitely think I definitely think I'll do that in the future. But up here is just again extra some extra storage. So up there I'm gonna put sorry about my finger in the way. This is very difficult. To do one handed. <laughs> so up here. I'm going to put my can opener. Yes, the dogs have their own can opener for their wet food. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm also going to put a spoon so that we can get the food out of the can and mix it up. Mix it up with their dry food. And then just zip it up. And literally look at that. It is a doggy flipping doggy suitcase. So then that just zips up like so. And then this zips up like that. And then there's also handles on it too. If you prefer to carry it with your hand instead of, and it's got the little Velcro attachment there to hold the handles together. If you prefer to carry it with your hand instead of on your shoulder. So anyway, I just wanted to show you all that because I thought this was just ingenious and very helpful and definitely a space saver because we got some bags too, not just a dogs. So anyway, if you all celebrate Easter, I hope you have a beautiful Easter weekend. I hope you get to spend time with friends and family. Um... My husband and I, oh my goodness, this is the first weekend off we've had together in I don't know how long. So it's going to be very nice to go and see my family. So I hope you all are having a blessed day. Remember to make good choices. Be kind always in all ways. And remember, if you cannot find a kind person, be one. All right, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day and an awesome weekend. I will see you in the next video. Bye.